could your teen become a millionaire just by working a part-time after-school job? Bill Edgar thinks so. He'll tell us why on the Dollar Stretcher interview. Hi, I'm Gary Foreman, editor of thedollarstretcher.com. Bill Edgar is the author of The Min Minimum Wage Millionaire. The book presents a practical approach to accumulating wealth for teenagers who are just starting to earn income with a part-time job. Bill, thanks for joining us today. Well, thanks for having me, Gary. I, I really appreciate you taking your time to uh, interview me today. Bill, tell us uh, about the premise of the book. Well, the premise of the book is that uh, kids actually could start investing. And the, the longer they... they the, the longer of your investment compounding year after year, the bigger pile of money you can have. And oftentimes I was seeing that investing advice was being given to, to, to kids, well, adults, who had already started their career. It wasn't until you got into a career that you started to kind of learn about maybe a 401k or some other vehicle to start saving and investing. And yet, the first dollar that you earn is actually the one that can multiply the most. When you're 16, the difference between starting to invest in 16, at 16 and at 23 or 24 is huge. And all of those dollars that you're investing when you're 16 and 17 can really add up to a lot of money before you even get started in a career, before you even get started in what you think is making real money. Yeah, it's fascinating because I've always encouraged people to start their saving program uh, uh, as, as early as possible. Uh, but frankly, this is the first time I've heard somebody suggest that it uh, uh, begin as early as uh, while, while teens are still taking part-time work after school. Yeah, and that's a great time. But, you know, part-time job after school, you're not going to get offered some kind of retirement program. That's not what those jobs are for. And... Also, as a 16-year-old, you're going to need your parents' help to get set up with an account. So it's not something that really is talked about very much. And yet those dollars can mean so much more to them later on, especially if they're put away in a, you know, a, a diversified uh, indexed fund or something like that that you know, is going to be something that's going to do well over a long period of time. I mean, we're talking about a 45-year time horizon or something like that. So uh, those dollars can accumulate and compound for many, many, many years. Now, now what, what can parents tell uh, their teens? Uh, because I remember when I was a teenager, you know, my money all went into my car in dates. Uh, uh, what can parents do to, to convince their, their, uh, their teens that it's a good idea to, to set part of their earnings aside? Well, uh, part, of the, part of the way they can do that is to, um, you know, demonstrate the importance of it. Um, there's tons of statistics out there, articles uh, about where people are at today with their savings. I think one of them uh, just that I read last week said that 62% of Americans have less than $5,000 saved for, for retirement. So th those types of statistics, especially, you know, when you're 16, you're still under the, obviously, the care of your parents, and they're still teaching you about what you need to do to be successful in life. And this is one of those life lessons that can be taught while the kids are still at home, while, they're, while um, they still have some parental guidance. And it can set in motion a whole different set of, of values for investing and for accumulating wealth that they might not have had otherwise. Yeah, it would seem that, that uh, the students learn an awful lot or could learn an awful lot uh, uh, with very minor risk at that stage of their lives. Yeah, and, and you know, also when you kind of demonstrate about um, the, the rule of 72 and the, you know, how money compounds over time and and how much this one dollar that you're putting into your uh, wealth building account, I like to call it, the one dollar that you're putting in your wealth building account when you're 16 is going to be worth $64, uh, assuming about an 8% annualized return, 
year over year when you're when you're in your mid 60s and so every dollar that you're spending every dollar that you're investing is worth 64 to your future self I always like to talk about it in terms of your future self because it's really going to be you I mean I know 16 year olds that's a that's a hard concept but you and I are going through life and as you get older you start to think about it more and more but if it's something that the parents help them with right away early on it can make a big difference to that to that future self that we're talking about now, it seems to me too that uh, that this could help uh, uh, some of the trend away from teenagers working I mean you see teens uh, so often now getting intern unpaid internships and things like that uh, uh, but there there are some some real financial benefits uh, to to them working yeah and the Bureau of Labor Statistics said that uh, it's somewhere between 50 and 60 percent that of, of high school age kids that currently have jobs so there's some room for more kids to be working you know even if it's only 15 to 20 hours a week that's what I was doing I was working at a grocery store in my hometown pushing in carts and bagging groceries and I was getting that 15 to 20 hours uh, a week and I, it was minimum wage or maybe there were some little bumps in pay here and there but that money even if I put away just a portion of it could have you know been hundreds of thousands of dollars for me later on and that. So, so uh, I, I guess the, the main message for both uh, parents and teenagers is uh, for those teens to go out there and try to find a job, even if it's only uh, for a few hours a week. Absolutely. Absolutely. And put, put, part of, put part of it into that. And then I know, and uh, I know this is all uh, all invo included in uh, in your book, The Minimum Wage Millionaire. Uh, uh, where can uh, viewers get a copy of it? Viewers can get a, a copy of it. Uh, there's a Kindle version available on Amazon. And it's also available in paperback. Uh, it is available on Amazon. I also believe it's available through Barnes and Nobles. It's starting to become a little more widely known. It was just published uh, in the middle of April. So distribution is still rolling out. But more and more uh, retailers are going to have it, if not on the shelves, then you could go into the store and you could get it ordered and they'll have it shipped to you. Fantastic. $7.25, which is minimum wage. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I love the, I love the pricing bill. We'll, uh, we'll include links uh, uh, so people uh, can just click on them uh, to get over to, uh, to Amazon uh, uh, or Barnes and & Noble. And uh, Bill, Bill, we appreciate you All sharing right. your wisdom with our viewers today. All right. Thank you, Gary. We want to thank everybody for joining us on the Dollar Structure interview, and we hope to see you again soon.